The Hopcroft CARP algorithm is an algorithm that takes a bipartite graph and produces a maximum cardinality matching. Before running through the algorithm, we should run through some key definitions. A bipartite graph is a graph whose vertices can be divided into two disjoint sets, U and V. Maximum cardinality matching is the set of as many edges as possible that don't share endpoints. An augmenting path starts on a free node, alternates between unmatched and matched edges, ending on a free node. This algorithm uses two other algorithms to traverse the graph. Breadth-first search, which traverses a graph level by level, and depth-first search, which traverses a graph all the way to a leaf on each iteration. This is the complete pseudocode for the hopcroft carp algorithm. This means that from a complete bipartite graph, a maximum cardinality matching is produced, where each vertex on each side is connected to exactly one vertex on the other side. An example of a problem that this algorithm is used for is that of three people looking for three different houses. Each person likes two of the three houses and doesn't want to live in the third. This can be represented as a bipartite graph, and by applying this algorithm, each person can be matched to a house. The graph starts with all the nodes in each side of the graph, U, and V having no pairings. On the first iteration of the algorithm, the breadth first search starts from all of the three nodes in U. For U1, this tree is produced. For U2, the tree connects to V2 and V3, and the final tree produced starts at U3, connecting to V1 and V2. A layer with three vertices in V has been found, and so the first part of the iteration terminates. A path is found from node V1 up to U1, and this path is removed from the layers layered trees, orphaning V3 which is then removed. This path is used to augment M. The same process is followed for V2 with a path found to U2, which orphans U3, and the iteration ends. At this point, this is the semi-matched graph. In the second iteration, breadth first search is started from node U3, the only remaining free node in U. It alternates between unmarked edges and marked edges, producing this tree. A path is then found from the node V3 up to U3 as before, and this path is used to augment M. This is the maximum cardinality matching for this graph, and everyone is happy. Time complexity. Each phase consists of a single iteration of breadth-first search, followed by a single iteration of depth-first search, and so runs in linear time. The algorithm performs a total of most two root V phases, since it finds a maximal set of shortest augmenting paths on each iteration. Therefore, this is the time complexity, where E is the number of edges and V is the number of vertices. To reiterate, the hopcroft carp algorithm takes a bipartite graph and produces a maximum cardinality matching, making it a useful, fast algorithm in a whole host of different problem sets.